The proudest people of the world were a river away, his people. Paris was the closest he'd ever been to the main line of his heritage. And though generations diluted in him the pride, he had to have it beat down nonetheless. Because you can't beat pride down without help if you're German. He stepped past the graffiti negligence on the carved stones that surrounded and likely predated Morrison's flowered grave and tried to dissociate himself from his, from not his heritage, but his homeland, home of rock and baseball and blues, home of crack rock and eight ball and origin blues. Stubbornly, he tried. He had to ask himself, who disrespects the dead? Fuckers making a bad name for muralists. But why dwell on it or remain angry? Time tells, and nature effaces those who deface. Well, those were old times, and the taste of Clementine lingered, and he had not become expatriate, but embraced America for all her shortcomings, and quelled any desire he had to leave. He was American, from the whiskey on his lips to his blue suede sneakers, American, from his mastery of the English language to the broken French he spoke late into the night to friends and strangers who did not understand. Eh hey, oui, c'est bien le monkfish avec le vin rouge, he said, smacking his lips and leaned across the table to kiss Helen. I told you you'd like it. Très bien, benissimo, ma chérie. Sacre corps, bellissimo, voulez-vous? What's that nonsense, she cried. Rien, c'est le mot, sol. Words alone, my darling, words alone.